Students who are not engaged with their learning are likely to low, learn at a slower pace and, of course, achieve worse. That's research from 2004. John Hattie, I'm sure many of you will know the research of John Hattie, which has become um, an extraordinarily well-known meta-study of effective teaching methods, points out that motivation and engagement in school have a higher effect on student achievement than numerous other in-school factors. In other words, it's a kind of golden key. Their level of engagement is a better predictor of their success as adults. So the first thing to say, obviously, is that it, de it decreases with age. The longer students are in school, the more disengaged they get. But would you say that those are levels or criteria for engagement in learning? We don't think so. We think that if you are serious about engagement in learning, you mean different things. Are they energetic and enthusiastic? Is there passion there? Are they learning all the time, everywhere? Are they taking responsibility for their own learning? Rather than just doing what somebody else tells them, they are looking things up, trying to find new spaces to learn, taking their own responsibility, and achieving a wider set of learning outcomes. So not confining their learning just to school subjects, but thinking much more broadly. There are five things we ought to be concerned about. Is learning a part of the student's identity? Do they understand themselves to be a learner fundamentally? Is it pervasive? Does it extend beyond the school? Do they learn wherever they are? At a movie, at the theatre, at a skating rink, on their skateboard? Not just within the schoolhouse, but way beyond that. Is learning social, involving relationships with peers and others? Do they talk about their learning with their friends? Is it deep? If learning isn't deep, then what is it for? Does it result in memorable and meaningful experiences? And is it relevant? Is it connected to their future lives, to the people they want to be, and not just connected to the next test? In the 20th century, you maybe had one or two jobs, and you would expect to have mastery in one field. That was your specialism. In the 21st century, we know there'll be upwards of 15. That's probably a conservative estimate now. You will expect to have breadth and depth in many fields. And some of those fields don't yet exist. Unless everybody becomes a passionate, lifelong learner, they will be lost in this world. I'm not saying that schools are going to become irrelevant, <clears throat> but they no longer have a monopoly on access to learning. There are three big things which motivate us as human beings. It ain't cash, and it's not being entertained. It's about autonomy, your sense of choice and control over what you do. The second is mastery, a growing sense that you have mastered a set of skills or a subject, and the excitement that you get through your growing sense of mastery. And the third is purpose, that you can connect this learning with purpose either to problems that you are facing in your own life, in your own community, or as you see them affecting the society that you are going to live in. Most schools these days have some kind of student council or parliament where students can go along and be consulted about things. Frankly, quite often that's rather trivial and low level, but sometimes it is important, and by voice we mean those processes which increase student influence in running the school. Learning is co-created, meaning that it recognises both adults and students as a powerful resource for the design of learning. The work is connected and uses real-world contexts, contemporary issues, whether it's the threats for Aboriginal life in Australia, the degradation of the environment there, the lack of water affecting the country, racism within the country is a huge issue, or that simple issue of uh, reasonable good work for all Australians. It builds from the students' passions and capabilities, and it is possible to create curricula which reflect students' passions and capabilities. It will be integrated. They will integrate as far as possible subjects, students 
and learning contexts. By learning context, that means whether they're learning in a classroom, in a museum, in a theatre, or at an internship in a company or a business, of which there will be many.